Well, it's almost that time of year again, folks. It's almost Christmas time. No festive season would be complete without lighting. This year, we're trying out the Govi Christmas Light 66 feet of glorious colorful lighting themes and mini games. So what makes these so special? Well, let's find out. We're off to a good start with them being compatible with Google and Amazon Assistants. Magnetic box, that's a nice touch, Govi. They come well presented and inside the box we're greeted with the usual paperwork, the dream view, welcome notes, storage card and instructions. We also have the reel here which is attached to the controller and the power line on a longish cable. The power connector is the 2 pin outdoor type so these can be used outdoors but we'll talk more on this later. The controller is your typical Govi controller with microphone, power on and power off. We've also got the Govi logo on the bottom of the controller and the 3M sticky tape on the back. The string light comes on a hefty roll. This is the 66 foot version, but there's also a smaller one available. I'll leave links below. The cable feels nice and compact and a good quality. It's a basic but an effective design. There's an extra two strands running the whole length of the strip and I think that's for the power injection. The LED diodes are also encased in a nice clear shell and it's a pretty similar design to most Christmas lights really, only without the external bulb sticking out all the way down the string. Finally we have the power brick, now this isn't weatherproof rated like the string light is so I would recommend keeping the power supply indoors if at all possible. If you do intend on using this outdoors, you may want to consider one of these all weather power sockets, they're inexpensive and they're far safer than a typical power extension lead. Speaking of outdoors, Govi have given us some slack here at either end of the controller, but if I was to use this outdoors, I would want one of these extension cables. You can get them in 3, 6 and 10 meters, they're fairly inexpensive with good ratings and like I said, if I was to use this outdoors I would definitely order one of these, so I'll leave them linked down below for your convenience. Wow they are nice, and those dream colours, look at that guys, really vibrant and bright, just look at them, they are nice aren't they? And the diodes are evenly spaced, exactly 10 centimeters apart, they're not too dense for larger trees and they're not too far apart for smaller ones and they're almost the same thickness as the rope itself so they're not as likely to get tangled up either with this design they're nice and bright aren't they okay to get the most out of these lights then we want to install the govi application this is a free app and you can install this by scanning the qr code on the box the qr code included in the instructions or searching in the google and apple stores it's simple to add the lights just Make sure you're on devices and click the plus icon in the right corner to add new device. The Govi app searches for nearby devices and it's found the Christmas lights right away. Click add and then you simply press the power button on and off on the controller to sync them to your device. And that's it guys and we have full control via the app now. We'll start with the music mode and I'll give you a few demonstrations. We can start by changing the brightness with the slider here. This goes down to one and all the way back up to 100. We can also change our mic input here, which allows us to use our smart device as the microphone. It gives us a few more options like the party, dynamic and calm mode. There's a sensitivity slider here as well. And as you can see, they are very responsive. We have several themes to choose from, energetic, rhythm, spectrum, and rolling. There's far too many themes and features to show you them all in this video, but I'll go through the basics. What's also cool about these though, is that you can click this little pen icon and then you can customize them even further. Some of them have more options than others, but there's loads to explore here. And also the Google Assistant seems to work really well. Okay. Turn off all lights. Okay. Onto the colour tab then, this bit's quite basic but we do have an advanced tab that we'll take a look at in just a second. Here we have a strip that's made into 10 segments, you can control all of these either individually or all 10 at once. All your colours are at the bottom and it's all easy to find and easy to use. You simply highlight the segment that you're trying to control, then select your colour. There's even a gradient slider and colour wheels to experiment with. This is the advanced section where we have far more control over the lights. We can even add animations to the strip and control each of the LEDs. 
The animations are cool because we've got clockwise, counterclockwise, cycle, gradient, twinkle and breathe effects. You can also adjust the background brightness and the speeds of the animations and you still have full access to all of your colour wheels and colour palettes etc. Another thing that's really cool here is you can control each of the LEDs so you could make some awesome themes. What I've done here is try and create a theme for when my team play over Christmas. I support Aston Villa. Now with any LED products it's quite difficult to get the claret and blue so I'm just using like a, a really light blue and red to imitate the claret and on the tree it looks close enough for me. I'm happy at this. This will make my match days far more interesting over Christmas. Moving on to the scenes tab now then, there's far too many for me to go through them all again but I'll show you some of my favourites. Universe. And then we have Meteor. The lightning one's a pretty cool effect. And then we've got Rainbow. And then we'll just move on to the next tab. We've got New Year's. Christmas. Candlelight. Fireworks. Christmas gift. Christmas Bell, Candy Cane, Christmas Eve, Christmas Wreath, and then if we come on to the next tab we've got a romantic one, this one looks really cool, and then we've got a siren, Aquaman, Black Manta and Atlantis. Let's take a look at the DIY then. This is also awesome in my opinion because all of your previous DIY modes are here across all of your devices as well which is very convenient. But you also have access to the advanced features and more. You've got your finger sketch here and although it's limited on these lights, the animations, all of your sliders and all of your controls are all still here. You can also control each of the LEDs individually. And if you use the Govi community before, especially if you starred or hearted any of them, then they will also be here and you can easily switch between the ones that you've designed and shared yourself or ones that you're using from the Govi community. I absolutely love this feature. And finally, we have this game section. Now, this is a new addition as far as I'm aware, and this is called Soundwave. We have got a clapping game as well, but we'll look at the Soundwave one first. You can change the sensitivity. You can also change the difficulty from one to seven. Soundwave basically lets you light up the tree by singing and holding a note. The louder and the higher the note, the brighter and the faster the tree will light up. I won't terrify you with my singing voice, so we'll move on to the second game, which is the clapping game. This has a basic mode and an advanced mode. The advanced mode allows you to change the difficulty, but you simply click start and then you start to clap. The tree will fill up with light and you need to do this as quick as possible. It will give you the score at the bottom, it will give you the time, so you can compete with family members and try and get the best score. I think this is awesome, it's especially good for family meetups and things like that over Christmas. My personal best is 6 seconds, so you guys let me know in the comments what your personal best is. Last but not least, the dream view. Now, the dream view is always very good with Govi, in my opinion, every single Govi light that I have syncs up pretty well with the dream view i've never had any issues whatsoever i actually enjoy sitting here with the dream view on sometimes i just flick it onto scenic dream view when i'm working or when i'm gaming sometimes i find it nice and relaxing there's loads of themes to choose from energetic ones relaxation ones there's even ones for the festive season and for things like halloween and holidays
I've got to say I'm very impressed with the Govi Christmas lights. I can highly recommend them. These are available on the Govi website or Amazon. They're $59.99 for the 20 meter version on the Govi website. And you can also get a 10 meter version, which is $41.99. But if you really want to push the boat out, you can get the set of the Govi Christmas lights and a curtain light. And it even lets you pick the length of Christmas light. This is awesome. I'll leave links down in the description. All links are affiliate links, so we do receive a small percentage of any sales those links generate, and you are directly supporting the channel by using those links. So a massive thank you to anybody who uses them. Also guys, can I quickly ask, we are approaching 1500 subscribers. I would really like to hit this by the new year. We're about 120 subscribers away or something like that. Any help towards the goal would be massively appreciated. Thank you to each and every one of you guys for watching. If you made it this far, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.